What are the top five best cast aircraft for top tier? Hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe. And today we are going to talk about my top five with some honorable mentions at the end of the video on the best cast aircraft or close air support aircraft for top tier tanks, right? Uh, these aircraft are problematic to put into a, a same perspective. So... It, it, you will understand, you know, you will understand. So we start with the fifth one, uh, the JH-7A, uh, an amazing Chinese aircraft that uh, is carrying the most modern missiles and bombs that the Chinese Tech 3 can actually carry. Uh, it also can defend itself, that's one of the considerations that I to always take in, you know, because... A CAS aircraft should be able to defend itself a little bit in the air-to-air -air, or at least have the performance to actually be safe from AA systems depending on the, like, on the, on the BR that it's in. And of course, uh, staying, trying to stay away and attacking targets from further away because the further away you are from a target, uh, the best you have uh, of a chance of actually killing AA systems uh, and staying alive, or killing tanks and staying alive, right? So the J7, the JH7 um, kind of brings everything to the table. Uh, it has the PL5Cs, which are very good missiles. Of course, the good old PL8, Python 3s, right? The cannon isn't the greatest, but of course, um, it still can do stuff. It's the same Grisha 23 as a normal MiG-21, 23, right? But in the air to ground equipment is where it shines. It has a thermal imaging system, which is also a very, very good thing. And it can take uh, up to six to 250 kilogram bombs, right? Which have laser and inertial navigation, which helps a little bit. Uh, of course, you can take also the 500 kilo and the 1000 kilo, and of course the KH 2090. Uh, but yeah, it can do very well in any circumstance, basically, right? Uh, killing any target at any time. And it has the performance to actually stay away from targets. It's, it's a pretty good aircraft. It really, really is. It's kind of a. You know, aircraft that a lot of people forget about, but it is still pretty good. On the fourth position, I added the Mirage 2005F. Of course, the Mirage 2000 is an aircraft that is already amazing in dogfights. It can defend itself. It's a proper fighter. Uh, of course, it has its, it has its problems. It's not perfect, but um, the only main problem that I have with the aircraft is that it doesn't have a lot of missiles. Only four. But uh, for defending itself, it's pretty good for a cast. On the air to ground is where it actually shines uh, a lot, you know, it can actually take a thermal uh, Damocles targeting pod as well, which is a pretty good pod. And then with that, it can actually take five um, guided bombs or even you can take some AS-30s, you know, which are amazing, really, really, really amazing laser guided missiles. Uh, I love these things. They're really good. Like, seriously, these missiles are amazing and you can of course take the pgms right the pgm 500 and the pgm 2000 as well which are tv guided uh semi missile bombs right kind of like situation because they have their own thrust but of course they are still kind of a glide bomb uh so this aircraft can defend itself very very well at the same time that it can actually attack ground targets from very far away up to more than 20 kilometers if you want to and you can get a lock uh, and yeah, you can just stay away from AA system, get a dogfight and win. It's a very, very good aircraft. But it will lose to the top three, in my opinion. Uh, in third position, and this aircraft only wins in my position, in my opinion, because of from the Mirage, because of the performance of the aircraft itself. And that's the Gripen. Uh, because the Gripen is a better fighter. On the sense of air to ground itself, it's very similar uh, in certain ways to the Mirage. So the Mirage is very close to the Gripen on that regard. But the Lightning 2 pod, together with GPUs, with the performance that the Gripen has to defend itself, it might be one of the best and for sure a top three in my book uh, of the best CAS aircraft in the game. It's so it, it's an amazing, amazing aircraft. Um, once this actually this thing actually gets Fox 3 missiles, it will be, I mean, of course, it will get counters to it, but it will be very, very much like 
the best aircraft in the game, maybe, you know, depending on what counter is added to the game, because we never know, right? But yeah, amazing radar, amazing, amazing engine performance, amazing air to ground. Of course, I love the laser guided bombs. You can always argue that there are better options out there, like the Mavericks and stuff, depends on the type of ground attack you like to do. But yeah, he has the ability to carry some AGMs as well. Not the greatest ones, unless you were flying with the Hungarian one, but still, um, you can take the good old paveways and with the performance that this thing has, drop them from a very far distance, right? On the second position, I actually added an aircraft that you probably not might not actually, you know, consider um, too much of the second best, right? And that is the F-16C. Yes, the F-16C is up there as well. I mean, some people might even put the Gripen above this aircraft, but I think for the average player, the F-16C and, and D, of course, I can include the D over here as well, it might be a better option, right? Because you can take more bombs and more missiles in a general sense with the same type of armament as the Gripen. Of course, the performance is better on the Gripen in the sense of dogfight, but it's not like the F-16C cannot do that. And together with that, you can still take more payloads, you know, the, the pod is the same, everything is very similar. I just think that for the performance, the way that the aircraft flies, the size of it, everything like that, I still kind of think that the F-16C is a better option, you know, um, than the Gripen. Um, it's still a fighter that can defend itself, and yeah, with the missiles, the bombs, everything like that, it can do very well. And then we go for the top one, and this will be controversial, I already am explaining that to you. Is the Su-25 SM-3. Yes, guys, I still believe that this aircraft is the best only for one reason, it's missiles. The KH-38s are probably the best missiles you can have in the game for air to ground. It's a missile that can get a very far away shot, very far away, up to 20, even more kilometers. And in its laser or uh, TV guided uh, versions, of course. And God, this thing is like you can be shot with a Panzer and kind of not even care um, of such a far away distance that you can like be to fire against these targets. Together with um, an ability that it's not the greatest dogfight, but it can do a little bit. Uh, but the main thing was, would be that it can take a point, you can take a missile to the face and not die. That would be the main thing. Together with having R-73s, it can defend itself and it can take a punch. At the same time, with the best missiles out there, it doesn't even need to be close to aircraft or AA systems or anything like that, right? So, yes, uh, other aircraft like the PGMs and stuff, missiles, you know, uh, that uh, other aircraft use, are very similar to the KH-38s. But I still think that the cage is a better missile and it's the best air-to-ground missile for fixed wing aircraft in the game, for sure. It's it really, really is an amazing missile and that's why I still believe the Su-25 SM-3 is the best one. Of course, with some honorable mentions, we can mention the Harrier GR-7, which is pretty good. Yeah, it lacks a little bit on the power performance to actually get to the good positions to fire its its bombs and, and missiles, but still, the Tornado GR-1, it would be very close to something like the JH. It's an amazing aircraft that not a lot of people like this. Uh, not the GR-1 only, but the IDS in general, right? It's a tornado that can do a lot of things with the PGMs, with the bombs, everything like that. It can do very well because of the performance and where it can actually put those weapons in with the pod that it has, right? Of course, another Harrier, the AV-8B, very good option as well. I still believe other are better, but still, the Mirage 2000D, it's an amazing, amazing option for a lower tier uh, before you get to the Mirage 2000-5. And of course, I have to mention the A-10, of course, it's an amazing aircraft. I just think that uh, it needs a new variant to be on par with the top tiers, maybe a C variant with better Mavericks and everything like that, but of course, it's still an amazing aircraft and at its BR, of course, it's very much lower than the top tier. It can still do a lot of things, especially with, with its guns and the Maverick. And I mean, it still has M9Ls and stuff, so it's a very good option. I just don't put it there because um, it's not really a top tier aircraft. But for it, for its BR, it would be up there as well. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in, in the comments what is your top five for aircraft doing CAS in ground battles. See you.